I was raised on <laughs> raised on pro wrestling, and uh, I didn't know what a Rolex or a Jet or anything was until you came out when I was eight years old, and I'm like, what the hell is this guy beating the good guys? Well, it's you took the art of the promo, like the interview, to a completely different level. How did you develop that sort of style? Is it something you cultivated for pro wrestling? Like, there's a video, I'm sure you've seen it, of these football players. Let's That's hear on. this. Let's hear this, Sergio. Oh. Diamond ring, work. Woo! Kiss dealing. Woo! Wheeling dealing. Wow. But, the, but the emphasis wasn't on the woo as much as, you know, the thing. You once cut a promo when you went, when you were back in WCW and NWO and all that was happening, and you start taking off your Rolex and your clothes and you're threatening Eric Bischoff. Mm -hmm. It's free ball and the whole thing. Yeah. Like that part, the cutting promo part of Ric Flair. I'd ask the lawyer for the time off, to, not missing Nitro, missing Thunder, the secondary show nobody went to, right? 